we in the last decade uh, have learned to live with multiple crises and shocks and they have proven we are interdependent. What happens in Africa or Asia resonates everywhere, whether it is a conflict or a natural disaster or a financial distress. It goes around the globe uh, quite quickly. So as the administration concentrates on policy priorities domestically, it is important to keep an eye on the rest of the world and be that force for good that the United States throughout the uh, 20th century especially has been. What the uh, criticality of investing in these uh, countries, unstable countries, uh, is uh, exactly because they are now connecting in this uh, footprint of conflict that is getting unfortunately bigger, not smaller, not shrinking. This is fertile ground for extremism, and we have seen the demonstration of that time and again uh, in the U.S., uh, in Europe uh, more recently. We can do something about it. We can invest in a more uh, stable uh, region uh, that is currently a region of trouble. And it would be financially a very good investment. At the bank, we estimate in 2014, the cost of conflict and violence is $14 trillion. This is almost 14% of the world's GDP. To bring down this cost would be much cheaper than to continue that waste and, of course, not just financial waste, but waste of opportunities and the erosion of a world that can be more peaceful than it is today.